Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Beetle Uprising. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is an early access build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. So, I tried recording this earlier. Unfortunately, my recording software crapped out on me, and the game seems to autosave on a regular basis, so I'm going to be skipping over content, not because it was intentional, but because I tried to record it, but... Now, I can't go back to my previous save, unfortunately. But I'll just catch you up on what I was doing. So, I leveled up to level 5. I've got more space now. Um, let's go ahead and throw stuff down so they're not starving or anything like that. I have a uh, plush toy spider. We'll just throw that down. Another pet rock. I love these crystals. That's my favorite. And then trophy, I'll put that over here. Uh, I guess we could put more blocks down. I like these blue ones. Cotton towel. Some bedding. You'll love that. Some soap. They can give themselves a bath, I guess. There we go. And then maybe some food. Oh, they're hungry. Look at them. All right, so the developer did leave some uh, tips on my last video under the comments section. So uh, go check them out. They may help you out. Um, I still don't fully understand the DNA part of this game. If I double click on one of these guys, one of these beetles, uh, there is a stats genetic details on the right hand side. Now you'll notice that this root burr here has a lot of these uh, blue stars that are flashing. And according to that, it's sort of like a unique special gene to where uh, it's the highest LL as they're called. Uh, like there's little blue bars that extend to either side. And the further out they are, the better the gene. So um, you want to basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get uh, these blue bars to go out as much as possible, and then fill them up so that their gene, so that their so that their attribute is nice and high. And this is telling me that uh, compared to everyone else, like this one has uh, some really high stats in ferocity and quickness that I could possibly fill up. It's sort of like it's sort of like a max trait stat, uh, you know, like you know how there's max health, you know, stuff like that in other games. Well, there's you know, like max quickness on this gene, this one, this one, this one, this one down to regeneration. The blue bars indicate that that's how high it can possibly go. But you know, the further out the blue bar is, the the higher you can fill out that stat. At least that's how I think it works. Up to this point, all I've been doing is looking at these numbers in the bottom left hand corner and then breeding the ones with the high numbers. That, that's all I've been doing. But there might be more to it than that, uh, based on what the developer was uh, saying. You can also store looks here. Like, if I like the look of this root burr here, I can click on this here, hit store, and, you know, then I can apply it to some other one. Like, let's say I want ran roar here. Actually, I kind of like that. I don't want to lose that. Let's store that. Um, here's Yuna. How about that? Let's say I want Yuna to look like this this one here. I would hit apply, and now it looks like that. So you can change the looks of these beetles as you please, which is nice. Um, so let's just uh, let's just move on. Go to my map. So I, I completed to Eris hummus. Uh, in the video that I attempted to record before it crapped out. So maybe I'll just play it again so you can see it. Um, from my understanding, you can replay these in order to earn more eggs. So uh, let's just do that anyway. Uh, is Smart Rambo up to the challenge? He's somewhat happy. I'm going to wait till he's very happy. This is my best. This is my best one. Rambo Jr., Pert, and Lopper are doing okay. Again, I'm not juicing... I mean, look at all these red stats. I'm not juicing Ritber yet because he's got... He's got these six flashing blue stars here. 
So it's like I want to uh, maybe I should try and breed Ripper and Smart Rambo and see what I get out of it. Okay, so there we are. Um, now you'll notice that there's different attack types now. This is immolation. Uh, causes the beetle to explode, dealing physical damage to everything in the area around it. So, this is what I was up against in the previous video. Like, there were some beetles that totally wiped me out. They, they, they were like kamikaze beetles. But anyway, I don't know if we want that or not. We could try it. I don't know if, it, if they're actually good in combat. Um, but, which one would I want? This one has high quickness. This one has high quickness. Let's go for this one up here. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's keep. Tesla Pup. Tez. Tez. Call you Tez. Alright, so if we close that and check out Tez. Alright, so just to see if that carried over from Ritber. We've got these flashing blue stars still. Although there's no flashing blue stars here. So I'm wondering if they carried over. I think they did. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm comparing the two real quick. Yeah, it looks like not only did they carry over, but Tez's quickness went up as a result from that. Yeah, because our the one that I bred, Ritber here, well, 41 is quickness. This one is 41. It's hard to tell. All right, well, anyway. Ripper has three star. Okay, so we still need to breed it for this ferocity rating, I think. The question is, are we, are we going to breed with smart Rambo again and see what we get out of that? We can try it. Let's, let's try and get a, a high ferocity rating. The ferocity rating is 51 on Ripper, so I'd, I'd want to... Unfortunately, none of these beetles has a high ferocity rating. I guess we could try that one. Keep. Uggister. I think I already had an Ugg at one point. Uh, so, just... Is. Just is. Sure. Creative. So let's take a look at that one now. Again, I'm experimenting with this because I'm I'm not understanding too well how to read this or how to use it to to my advantage. So I don't see any flashing blue stars here, Whitbur. Okay, so here's here's one more flashing star. So I think as we're breeding this, that these bars are these these max bars here are carrying over to this new beetle so they're starting to go away slowly i still i still shouldn't get rid of ripper here not until i get rid of this last blue star then i'll know that that gene carried on into someone else i think i think that's how it works all right well anyway is there anyone that i should get rid of at this point because we've got a lot of yuna here for example we juice it. Okay, we can juice that one. Grand Roar. There's no flashing blue star here. Juice that one. Okay. And the reason I'm juicing them is because, you know, they, they do take up space and they do use items in in the little nest here. So I'm, I'm trying to save food. Oh, another thing that uh, the developer mentioned, a tip was, you can scratch the beetles when they're sparkling in order to gain XP. Now, I don't know what he meant by sparkling. I tried clicking on them, it seemed to work. I think if you just hover your mouse over them, that counts as scratching too. Uh, we'll try it out when I see one sparkling in a minute. Okay, so, yeah, I just had my mouse over this one. Let's see if there's another one that sparkled. Should we fast forward time? There we go. All 
All right, I don't see a whole lot of sparkling going on. I think one just grew up. Yep, another one just grew up. Ugh. All right, maybe if we send them out on missions and they come back and... Oh, there, there's one. Yeah, just hovering my mouse over it seems to work. That counts as scratching. All right, let's go ahead and put more food down. Have some walnuts. There's another one. Yeah, just a mouse over is enough. Good to know. All right, send them out. Uh, where are we going to put them? All right, is Rambo... Yep, he's happy now. All right, let's go ahead and send this one out. Attack. And we'll do 140. Begin. I three-starred this, mainly by avoiding the enemy. Um, my objective here, the first one is to get to this entry near the yellow milk crate and just destroy it. And that I, I managed to do that just by avoiding the enemy, just by sort of staying away from their patrols. Alright, so that's one down. So there's one over here that I'm, I have to get to. Um, back off, back off, back off, back off. I'm going to let them, let them walk on by. All right, they're going around that way. It right, looks like the spider is turning around. It's just a matter of observing their patrols and avoiding them. And this other one back here... All right, there's two. I don't know if... No, okay, back, 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 back. We might be able to get past... All right, let's do this. Let's get over here. And get on top of this. This, this group's going to veer off to the right. So as soon as they pass, we'll jump down this ramp and then right into that. And that should, that should be good. I'm trying to avoid fights if possible. All right, looks like we're we're ready there. Go. Oh, okay, good. They're down there. Keep moving. Shift forces them to pass. There we go. Easy peasy. The nice thing is we, we earned more eggs. Just You can replay levels and still earn more stuff. All right, um, let's go ahead and hatch those eggs and see what we get. See if they're worth anything. Uh, can I or can't I? Pet rock. Ah, there we are. A new beetle, Udzig. Sure. And then this one is, that's color scheme though. Um, Amadir? Amadir, sure, Amadir. And trophy, trophy, trophy. Okay, so we have two of the same trophy. I wonder if these trophies go away after a while. All right, well, anyway, so let's see what these things have to offer. Udazig. I don't see any flashing blue star here, so I'm thinking I can safely juice this. Yep. And the other one that we just got, Amadir. No flashing blue star here either, so I'm assuming I can safely juice this. All right, so those eggs that we just got, kind of worthless. And we're out of food again. These guys are hungry. Incredibly hungry. All right, have some bread. Carb it up. Have a rotten apple while you're at it. And some st some moldy stale bread. It's good for you. Oh, Iz is looking kind of...
stripey today. All right, let's go ahead and breed some more. Um, I still think Smart Rambo is my best, but I want to try and keep these stats. For I need to get that Ferocity stat up there. So if we click on uh, Ferocity here, Ripper is still... He's got the highest. All right, back to Smart Rambo over here. All right, so let's, let's keep breeding these until we get a high Ferocity stat. Although... Oi. Well, this one has a ferocity of 49. Oh, this one's uh, 51, but the regeneration on this is terrible. It's 28. But the quickness... I, I want a well-rounded one. All right, let's go with this purple one here. Yeah. Keep it. It's an immolation type, though. We're going to call this guy... Um, Boom, just because he's going to blow himself up in battle. All right, back to this. So, boom here. Okay, um, now let's see if Ripper... Okay, this is Ripper. He doesn't have any more flashing stars. I wonder if I can juice him now. I can't. Okay, so he's passed on his genes to his offspring. So it allowed me to safely get rid of that without prompting me, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Okay. Yeah, because now Boom has the highest ferocity stat. All right, let's go out on some missions. Um... What do we want to do? Do we want to explore maybe this area? 68% chance. Chance of injury, 32%. Chance of death, 5.4%. Yikes. I'd rather send out someone that I don't like. Uh, is, sure. Send out ones that don't have a chance of coming. It just Ones that I don't, I, I'm really not attached to. Pert here, for example, has two red traits. I don't care about that. Um, this one over here. Ugis is looking good. Boom. I want to say boom for his stats. Rambo Jr. Alright, we'll send him out. Alright, and the rest we'll just, we'll just try and get some stuff around the nest. We can send Boom out. He's relative, uh, 36% chance. He's not going to make it very far. Loper, Tez, Ugis. And over here, we'll go out and get a Smart Rambo to do that. Uh, 60% chance. He needs to rest up. He was just in battle, so he's probably not, not too happy. No, is 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 dead. He died while striving for the nest. Oh, that was. Oh, come on. Pert died too. I thought it was like a five percent chance to die. Ugh. Well, at least they completed their tasks. Well, that's two more beetles. I don't have to worry about feeding anytime soon. Ugh. That was terrible. Poor Pert. I'm wondering if I need to just keep... I'm trying to get the best possible stats. Uh, well, low bar isn't too bad. Maybe I should just keep breeding and trying. Because uh, Smart Rambo here is okay, but... I'd like to have, like, higher than 40s across the board. Regeneration's 32. That's not good enough for me. Armor's only 27. What if we tried meshing Loper? 50. See, we've got strength and quickness down pretty good, but the rest of this stuff is pretty low. 
Yeah, the highest armor rating that we have is 29. Well, this one's 30 over here. That's not bad. Perception's 38. 53 health. Low quickness. Party wants to keep this green one. Although this one, oh boy, uh, sure, we'll do it, we'll do this one, yeah, it looks really teal, Kizog, sounds Klingon, all right, maybe we should do more of those missions to try and get better eggs, I guess we'll do, say, this lost beach, is Rambo, smart Rambo up for it? He might be. Oh, we can do two different ones. Smart Rambo and Rambo Jr. Oh, he's on a mission. I guess we'll send Loper, sure. 140 and three, okay, begin. I think those are the immolation ones over here. Oh, we're getting torn up. We definitely needed Rambo, Rambo and Smart Rambo for this. I don't think, I don't think we're doing too well. All right. Collect two eggs. All right. Let's just get. Where was the second egg at? It was over here, wasn't it? I could have sworn there was another egg. Oh, here it is. Why that spider? I guess we'll go for that one. As you can see, clearly see, these guys, some of these stats are just not high enough to deal with some of these missions. All right, we'll send Smart Rambo in here, and then these guys in. Try and finish it off. There you go. Kill it. Nice. All right, there's our two eggs. So now if we... I'll die. At least we won't get penalized. I don't. I don't see us winning this though. Not with. Not with the stats that we have. And these immolation ones are bad news. I'd have to find a way to bring in one or two beetles at a time so that they all blow themselves up on one or two beetles as opposed to my entire force. All right, we'll send these guys there. All right. I was surprised by that outcome. We somehow did it. And bring that down there. Oh boy, this is going to get nasty. Let's send in the weaker ones first. Let them, let them blow themselves up on the weaker ones. All right, now Smart Rambo can come in and hopefully finish the job. Nope, turned out no. Okay, that's all right. We did two out of three. We collected some eggs. Let's go ahead and hatch these and see what we got. Those guys are nasty. Oh, we need some, need some rest. 
Ah, look at that. You explored it. Rambo Jr. came through for me. There you go. Rest up. All right. Looks like you guys might need some food, too. Here's some mushrooms. And a pet rock. You guys deserve some food. There you go. All right, let's take a look at what we got then. All red stats. Uh, I have a feeling this one is going to be juiced. Let's see. Oops. Oh, he's got two strength attributes that we could possibly... But see, strength isn't an issue as far as I... As far as I can tell, I'd, I'd say that, oh, an armor, there's a relatively high armor stat. Well, compared to everyone else, it's high. Let's see if we can breed juiced with smart Rambo here. All right, so, oh, this is terrible. 46 strength, 40 quickness, so weaker in almost all respects compared to Smart Rambo. Yeah, this one, wow. Oh, attack type, soothing pheromones, heals damage to friendly beetles in nearby area. Strength powers it. Interesting. That's really cool. I like that. I'd probably keep it just for... All right, let's just keep that. I'm going to call this one... I mean, I, I'm going to call him Heals just because he can heal. I, that's a new one. I've never seen that. But can we juice this one now? Because those stats, though... Uh, ugh. All right, so we can. So I think Heals has... I mean, granted, those stats are pretty bad, too, but it's better than what we... Compared to the one that we just got. And this one star one. Again, ugh. I have a feeling you're going to be juiced as well. But he might surprise me. Let's see what he's got. Uh, no flashing blue stars over here. So I don't think he's got any sort of superior stat that I need to save. Let's just try and juice him. Yeah, all right. So I guess my next question is, how do I get my beetles here to improve their stats? I mean, I Smart Rambo is like my only one that can really kick some tail. Ferocity, okay, what, where's my arm? What's the highest armor stat that I have? All right, this, this what, Kazak. Let's combine Kazak and Smart Rambo and see if we can get, oh, look at that. Yeah, they're both really good. All right, let's breed these two. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at these stats. All right. This one's 30 armor. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm trying to improve that armor rating. This one down here, 30, 38, same as that, 32, 51. Okay, so what is the difference? This one has less health, but slightly higher quickness. And higher... For okay, let's do this one. We'll keep this one. Higher ferocity. And this one is going to be... <laughs> what, what would you name a, a, the, the spawn of Rambo and a Klingon? A, of uh, Kapla? I don't know. I mean, Clambo! What? Clambo. Clambo? K-L-K-apostrophe-L Clambo. Thank you. That was Ida Lee chiming in. You know where's Nev. Anyway... Clambo. Okay. Clambo it is. Clambo. Oh boy. Have a banana, Clambo. Alright, so... Oh. Well, 
Well, I think what I'm going to do is put a cut in the video here. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll try and get Clambo to uh, level up and hopefully breed some stronger beetles. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.